Welcome to Aditi's Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve practice set 11. In this practice set, we have to find out the fractions shown by given points and we have to show the given fractions on number line. So, look at the first question. The question is, what fractions do the points A and B show on the number line below? In first figure, on the given number line, every unit is divided into 6 equal parts because its denominator is 6. Look, here is denominator 6, here also 6 and these both places have the denominator 6. Means, it, this number line is divided into 6 equal parts. Remember, every unit must be divided into as many equal parts as the denominator of the given fraction on the number line. So, while solving the problems like this, we have to be divided every unit into as many equal parts as the denominator of the fraction. So, let's start to find out what the fraction indicates by A and B. Look, here the first part indicates 0 upon 6 fraction, second is 1 upon 6, third is 2 upon 6, here 3 upon 6, here 4 upon 6 and we have to just write here 5 upon 6. So counting makes it easy to us to find out the fractions. You just have to count the parts and write the denominator which is shown in the number line. So A indicates 5 upon 6 fraction. So let's find out what B indicates. Here 6 upon 6 means whole number 1. Then 7 upon 6, 8 upon 6, 9 upon 6 and B indicates 10 upon 6. Look, it's easy. Turn towards the second question. Here, there are 5 equal parts of this number line because the denominator in here is 5. So, let's find out A and B. Here, the fraction must be 0 upon 5, here 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5 and A indicates 3 upon 5. Then, let's find out what B indicates. The given fraction near to B is 5 upon 5, then this point indicates 6 upon 5 and B indicates 7 upon 5. It's easy. They ask only to show the fractions of point A and B. So, there is no need to find these fractions. Let's turn towards to third question. How many parts there are? Let's find out. Here, the fraction is not given. So, we have to find out how many parts they make to this number line equally. Start from 0 up to 1. Count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Means this line is divided into 7 equal parts. So our denominator must be 7. So here the denominator is 0 upon 7. Here the fraction is 1 upon 7, here 2 upon 7 and B indicates 3 upon 7. Let's find out 
what a indicates so here 4 upon 7 5 upon 7 6 upon 7 7 upon 7 8 upon 7 9 upon 7 and a indicates 10 upon 7 there is no need to find out these fractions so look at the second question the second question is show the following fractions on the number line we have to show them on the number line so let's draw the number line and show these fractions look I draw a one line here first of all write the question question 2 first sub question is 3 upon 5 6 upon 5 and 2 and 3 upon 5 here they give us to show mixed number it is also easy so you have to draw one line like this and our denominator is given in the question is 5 so we have to divide this line into 5 equal parts let's divide it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You have to make this type of parts. In five equal parts, there is a whole number we find out that is one. Let's count from here. Here is zero, one, two, three, four, five. Here the fraction we get the 5 upon 5 and the whole number is 1. 6 upon 5, 7 upon 5, 8 upon 5, 9 upon 5 and 10 upon 5. Here we get the whole number 2. Let's start to show the first fraction is 3 upon 5. Here the fraction is 0 upon 5 here 1 upon 5 2 upon 5 and here we can show 3 upon 5 this is our answer let's make a box to our answer Next, they say us to show 6 upon 5. So, here 5 upon 5 and on the second point, the fraction is 6 upon 5. Also, make a box for it. Then the third fraction we have to show is 2 and 3 upon 5. First find out where is 2. So look here is 2 and let's count. We have to show 2 and 3 upon 5. So 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5 and 3 upon 5. Here is 2 and 3 upon 5 fraction. So make a box our answer it's easy to show the given fraction on number line 
you have to just look at the denominator and make as many equal parts as the denominator shows. The second question in it is 3 upon 4, 5 upon 4 and 2 and 1 upon 4. Let's write it. 3 upon 4, 5 upon 4 and 2 and 1 upon 4. Solve it as first problem. So first of all, we are going to draw a number line. Then make equal parts of the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So look. while making an equal parts you have to show the points on equal distance so here the denominator is 4 so we just have to make 4 equal parts of all these points here 0 upon 4 0 1 2 3 and 4 here the number we get whole number is 1 Again count 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we get number 2. The fraction indicates on the first part is 0 upon 4. They say us to show the fraction 3 upon 4. So here is 1 upon 4, 2 upon 4 and 3 upon 4. Let's make a box to our answer. The next fraction is 5 upon 4. Here the fraction 4 upon 4 and here our answer is 5 upon 4. The next fraction they told us to show 2 and 1 upon 4. Here is 2 and just count 1 here is 1 so this part indicates fraction 2 and 1 upon 4 make a box to it look it's easy to show the fractions on number line you have to just practice it very well thanks for watching this video see you in next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.